Preview. Is Jeepers Creepers real, the real-life killer that inspired the movie? Dennis the Pew was a real-life killer that inspired the horror movie Jeepers Creepers. Plenty of horror movies are inspired by actual events, from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre to Child's Play. In fact, as we recently told you here in iHorror, even a night fair on Elm Street had a real-life inspiration. A burnt-faced dream demon, of course, never truly existed, but the inspiration story is very interesting. You can read all about that here. You also might be surprised to learn that 2001's Jeeper Creepers was similar to Roy from True Events. This fact wasn't in the least bit played up by writer-director Victor Salva. The movie is about a winged monster that plucks out human eyeballs. Though it may seem impossible that it was grounded in any sort of reality, it most definitely was. It was in 1990 that Michigan resident Dennis Depew became the subject of a police manhunt. This occurred after Dennis Depew murdered his wife and dumped her body behind an abandoned schoolhouse. The story goes that the murder was an act of vengeance after his wife filed for divorce, with Dennis Depew shooting her in the back of the head. In Jeepers Creepers, the monster dumps bodies behind an abandoned church. Much the same way the Pew disposed of his wife, but it wasn't the Pew that inspired the film so much as it was the testimony of two eyewitnesses who saw him dump the body. While driving around on a long stretch of Michigan Road, Ray and Maury Thornton spotted a Pew doing his duty deed, and then found themselves followed by the killer, who suspiciously tailed them in his van for several miles. Sounds familiar, because it certainly should, if you've seen Jeepers Creepers. Jeepers Creepers and Unsolved Mysteries Now what's most interesting about all of this is that a TV show Unsolved Mysteries ran a story on the debut case in March of 1991, a full 10 years before Jeepers Creepers was made. The segment featured a reenactment of Thornton's story, which bears a striking resemblance to the first half of Salva's film. The opening sequence of Jeeper Creepers is directly lifted from the episode right down to specific shots and dialogue exchanges, like the Thorntons, their brother and sister in the film even pass the time by playing the very same license plate game, making the inspiration undeniable. Oddly enough, while well, Salva has credited Steven Spielberg's duel with serving as an inspiration for the film, he's never once given any sort of credit to Unsolved Mysteries. This leads me to believe that he hoped nobody would ever make the connection. Of course, there's nothing wrong with using a rip from the headline story as the basis for a film. However, the direct lifting of the Unsolved Mysteries reenactment of the story is suspect to say the least. Creeper Dennis the Pew caught, the real-life killer that inspired Jeeper Creepers was finally caught. Shortly after the 1990 episode aired, Dennis the Pew was caught and subsequently committed suicide. So no, he never went on to stalk a bus full of shirtless dudes in case you were wondering.